What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your host Avery here and I wanted to bring you guys an interesting video talking about Pot of Greed and how we can possibly fix this card. And I was thinking to myself, you know, there's got to be some way that we can errata Pot of Greed to at least make it somewhat balanced. You know, it's the typical meme, but what does Pot of Greed do? You draw two cards, and then you don't shuffle your deck, and then you put the card in the graveyard at resolution. You know, anything like that. <laughs> so, I started looking at the other Pot cards, and when you look at the other Pot cards in the game, you have things that... Uh, are pretty easy to, um, I guess, sort of exploit, like Pot of Duality, you know, especially in stun decks, you don't really care about not being able to special summon. Uh, you have something that used to be abused back in the day and is still kind of abused in Zodiac, where you have Pot of Avarice, which isn't once per turn, you just take five monsters, shuffle them into the deck, and then draw two. Uh, and then you have more obscure pots, like Pot of Riches and Pot of Dichotomy, that aren't really played a lot. And so with Pot of Dichotomy, uh, at the start of your main phase one, so it's like Pot of Extrav, you have to play it at the start of your main phase one. You target three monsters with different types in your grave, shuffle all three into the deck, and then draw two, but then you can't conduct your battle phase. Pot of Riches, you take three Pendulum monsters and shuffle them into the deck from your graveyard or face up from your extra deck, and then draw two, And but you can only activate one per turn, and then you can't special summon the turn you activate except by a Pendulum summon, which of course this card isn't very good because... You want your monsters to be facing in the extra so that you can pendulum summon them back out. And then you have things that really hinder you, like Pot of Extravagance, where you have to banish three or six random face down cards from your extra deck to draw two, uh, or excuse me, draw one for every three banish. You're usually going to banish six so that you can draw two, but then you can't draw any other cards. You can't search, you can't do anything like that. You have things like Desires, where you banish ten to draw two. You have uh, prosperity, where you can choose which three to six extra deck cards you banish to draw to or to excavate. Um, and so I started looking actually at custom Yu-Gi-Oh cards and seeing if there's any of these custom cards that seem somewhat balanced that we could, you know, put in as an errata on the original Pot of Greed to possibly bring it back. Now I'm not saying that. This should be done. I'm not saying this may be done. I just thought that it would be good for a discussion because, you know, Pot of Greed's the OG. You know, being able to play one Pot of Greed to draw two, you're playing a 38-card deck, you're getting a mindless plus one, um, and that really is very overpowered in Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, you take a deck like uh, Sky Striker that's already, you know, very consistent. You know, let's say Engage came back to one, and then you give them a, a Pot of Greed. I mean, that's just busted. So... One that I came across is called Conspicuous Pot of Greed, where you draw two, but then you got to reveal your hand, which, you know, one can assume is for the turn. That seems like a fair trade-off, but yet you're still drawing the two cards. There's no real drawback. And then we have Contagious Pot of Greed, where if you have no cards in your extra deck, you can draw two. But then if you do this, all spell cards in your hand and all spells that you draw until the end of your third turn after this card's activation are destroyed. And you can't conduct your battle phase, especially some monsters turn you activate this card except for dark monsters, and you can only activate one per turn. Despite the weird-ass art, I thought that this um, is a very interesting concept because... We haven't seen that on a Pot of Greed, where if you don't have any cards in your extra deck, um, you're able to draw cards, um, unless one of these pots has something here. No, because this is target three banished monsters in your deck to draw one. This just shuffles two cards from your grave into the owner's decks. Um, yeah, and then Pot of Generosity, which is obviously the most broken one, just taking two cards from your hand and shuffling them back. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, I think Contagious is a very interesting pot of greed errata. Like, could you imagine if pot of greed said draw two cards, but then all spell cards or even all spells and traps in your hand and field are destroyed and all spells and traps you draw until the end of your third turn after this card's activation, and then you're locked into just summoning dark monsters? I don't know if Konami would necessarily want to make pot of greed be a card that can only be played in dark attribute decks or something like zombies or what have you, but it's still an interesting thought. Some other ones that I came across here was, um, it's still Pot of Greed, but you can draw two cards, but then you can only 
play it once per duel. To me, that seems pretty fine, but still not enough of a punishment because, you know, you're most likely only going to be playing one copy anyway. Uh, and then we have draw two cards, but then you can't summon or set cards during the turn you activate this card. So what if Kanai made it more specific and was like, you can't normal summon or set monsters during the turn you activate this card. So you get to draw two, but then you can only set your back row or you can only special summon. Even in decks like Dragon Link, sometimes they have to get off that normal summon first. They're not always going to be able to just special summon throughout their combos. Uh, you know, if they open up Black Metal Dragon, they have to be able to normal summon the Black Metal and then banish it to get out Red Eyes Darkness Metal. So they have to be able to have that option. Um, and what if you also threw on it, like, at the start of your main phase? Play Pot of Greed, draw two. You can't draw cards by card effects or summon or set monsters during the turn you activate this card. You can only activate one per duel. I think that that would be very interesting because then at that point, you can't draw any more cards. Or they could even make it be you cannot add cards from your deck to your hand except by, uh, or you cannot add cards to your hand or summon or set for the rest of the turn. Uh, and then that way you can't also use duality afterwards. You can't use, you know, Pot of Avarice afterwards. You can't use, you know, you can't use other things. You're locked in for that turn and you have to do it at the start of your turn. Uh, and then we also have uh, this one that's draw two, but then you can only use it once per match. I think that that's very interesting just because of the fact that we don't have any cards in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh that say once per match. Uh, but then I also started thinking, well, after you play it, you know, let's say you use it in game one. Well, then that's just a card that you can side deck out in games two or three. So it, that's never really hurting you. You know, you could take out Pot of Greed since you just used it in one game during the match and then throw in like an upstart goblin and then you're still just getting a draw one. So... Things, uh, I think that it's very interesting and that these custom cards provide a lot of ways that Pot of Greed could be errated. And uh, it's just something that was on my mind that, I don't know, I just, I think it's very interesting. I think that, you know, with all the other pot cards that have come out through the years, there's got to be some way that we could errat a Pot of Greed, even if we have to, you know, base it off of custom cards just to get some ideas of how they could do it. I think that somehow combining like Contagious Pot of Greed and uh, where is it? Uh, this custom Pot of Greed. So like these two, combine these two to make the original, you know, more fair, I think would be very interesting. Obviously, I don't think you should be locked into Dark Monsters, but I think if they did something where it was like Pot of Extravagance, where at the start of your main phase one, you get to draw two but then you can't, you know, activate any spells or traps. You can't summon or set. Like, you can only special summon. I think that that would be very interesting to see how that would go. And on top of that, too, you know, of course, we got to be able to get the OG spirit of the pot of greed up in here so that you can draw three and not just draw the original two. <laughs> so, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. How can we errata pot of greed? I'm very interested to see what you guys have to say in the comments below. Um, just, you know, it's pot of greed, man. Like, well, let's, let's bring back our homeboy here. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. And as always, subscribe if you have not already.